What's up everyone? Jordan here from Power North America. Today I'm going to show you how to do a guide rail alignment on this separator. A few tools you're going to need is a 10, 18, 19, and a 30 millimeter wrench, a torque wrench, and the guide rail alignment tool. Let's get started. A few things we'll need to do before we get started is remove the faceplate, the screens, the auger bolt, the auger, and the old profiles. After that, we'll be ready to take out the old rails, put the new ones in, and start this alignment. As you can see, I've already taken all that stuff out. My next step is to take out the old rails and put the new ones in. For this, you're going to need your 18 millimeter wrench. So we're going to have 18 bolts to remove. We have six up top, six in the front, and then six more back here. We're going to use this 18 millimeter wrench. Alright, now that we have the old rails out, we're going to go ahead and put the new ones in. When you put the bolts back in, you want them a little less than snug so that way the rail can still easily move around so when we put the adjustment tool in there, it can do its job properly. Okay, so we have the new rails installed, and like I was saying, the bolts are nice and loose. The rails can still move freely, and now we're going to put the alignment tool in. So this is the alignment tool. A couple things we need to take note of is that these bars on top and on the sides they need to seat properly into the all three rails in the separator and then also the keyway needs to fit over the key of the gearbox all right so now we're going to stick the alignment tool inside the separator As you can see, it won't go anymore, so we're going to have to turn, turn the motor so that the keyways can line up. Alright, so in order to be able to spin the motor, you're going to have to take off the back cover, which includes four bolts here, 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 and then one more on the other side. Alright, so as you can see, uh, I hope you can see it, the key is there, the keyway is a little bit to the left of it. So we're going to have to go ahead and spin the motor so that they can line up. Alright, so it looks like it should go in now. Now that we have the alignment tool all the way inserted into the separator, we're going to go ahead and put the faceplate on for the alignment tool. So now that we have the faceplate on, we're going to go ahead and put on three bolts to tighten that down. These nuts are a 19 millimeter, so you're going to need your, your 19 wrench. Now you're going to want to go ahead and put in the, the bolt. Alright, now that we have that center bolt in, you're going to need your torque wrench and a 30 millimeter 
socket. Um, you only want to tighten that to 50 newton meters. Alright, so now that we have the tool inserted, the faceplate on, and the center bolt in, we're going to go ahead and start tightening these the rail bolts. Uh, we're going to hit them twice. The first time we're going to hit them at 25 newton meters, the second time we're going to hit them at 80. So let's get started. So now we're going to take the alignment tool out of there, which is basically just reversing how we put it in. We're going to start with the bolt. Okay, so there you have it. That's how you do a rail alignment on one of our separators. I'm Jordan from Bauer North America. Thanks for watching.